Welcome back, everybody. President Joe Biden making headlines after hosting his first formal news conference since being sworn into office 64 days ago. He was even asked about a potential run for re-election in 2024. And do you believe you'll be running against former President Trump? Oh, come on. I don't even think about it. I don't have, I have no idea. I have no idea whether it'll be a Republican Party. For some discussion on this and reaction, let's bring in Kaylee McEnany, former White House press secretary under the Trump administration and a Fox contributor. Kaylee, good evening to you. Great to see you. Good to join you, Jackie. I'm just going to recap. I know you know. Here's what they talked about today. The questions that were asked were border and immigration. They asked about the filibuster. They asked about foreign policy. A couple of things that struck me, aside from the fact that the president was reading his foreign policy answers off of note cards, was the questions that they left out. Where were the questions on taxes, on stimulus spending, on the green agenda, on um, COVID at the border coming in from the migrants? Where were these questions from the press pool, in your opinion, um, and why weren't they asked? Yeah, it's interesting, certainly. Um, and Peter Ducey made that point and said essentially that, you know, he had a question on green jobs, a, a big important question that affects a lot of people. If you've lost your job at a pipeline, you know, Peter has asked this before of the press secretary, where can you find your green job? Uh, so if, if President Biden had taken the time to take more than half of the reporters in the room questions, he might have gotten a chance to get to those substantive issues. But I certainly think the economy and COVID should have come up long before are you considering a reelection bid. Yeah. And I want to read to you a couple of um, questionable statements, we'll call them, that came out of this, and you can react. One of the things the president said was that the vast majority of people coming uh, to the United States are being sent back. Um, on another topic, he also said, we're not going to let an unaccompanied child stand and starve. No one did that, and I'm paraphrasing here, except Trump. Um, another point he made was that he has support from Republican voters, from a substantial amount of them. And he also said that he wanted to change and correct the abuse of the filibuster rules. So there are so many issues here that we could take these point by point um, and, and sort of, you know, argue with the president if we wanted to. Your thoughts from the previous administration, where you're coming from, and in your view as a former press secretary. Yeah, a lot of those statements um, you just read from President Biden are just patently false. And it's just a totally different standard. I mean, I'll never forget being asked. Um, I don't recall if it was from the podium, but certainly in one-on-one -on -one interactions, you know, what about the president and the Washington Post that says he's lied X number of times? You know, I'm wondering where that degree of scrutiny is for the, for the Biden administration when you consider Axios has reporting that says, in fact, the vast majority of families are being processed into the interior for adjudication. Uh, when the, when Biden and says they're not coming because of me, but we have migrant after migrant after migrant on tape saying, yes, I am coming because of President Biden. These are patently false, contradictory statements. And I'm just, my question is, where are the fact checkers? Yeah, no, it's a good question. And I'll give you some statistics that we've found. Um, some reporting indicates that only 13% are being sent back right now. Mm -hmm. um, there's other reporting out there that he only has 10% of uh, Republican voters' support, as he uh, indicated there. And then on the Philip specifically, you know, since he's taken office, the Republicans haven't initiated a filibuster. We're talking, if we're talking about abuse here, we're talking about Democrats using filibuster under President Trump. That's exactly right. And now the filibuster is a, a relic of Jim Crow, we learned from Joe Biden yeah. today, when in fact he gave a robust defense of the filibuster years ago, as did the entirety of his party uh, when Republicans were thinking of doing away with it and when President Trump wanted to do away with it. So it's really interesting, uh, the hypocrisy, uh, the misleading statements that certainly should be scrutinized. And those facts you point are, out are absolute counters to some of what we heard uh, from the press briefing today. Yeah, and something we didn't hear a question about was um, the spending plan, $3 trillion on the table for infrastructure. The president pivoted when he was asked about China and talked about the importance of infrastructure um, and sort of went a little bit deeper there with no detail, though, on what exactly we're going to see here. And the big concern right now is that this $3 trillion isn't going to include a lot of other legislation that we don't necessarily need at this point um, right now in, in America. And we also have this issue of um, the teenagers. He said a lot of the people coming from Mexico are these 
these male teenagers, 16 and 17 years old, presumably looking for jobs when they come here, as we're trying to put our economy back together and create jobs. So it all just seemed a little bit of, of a hodgepodge, a little chaos when it comes to so many of these issues that he didn't have answers for. Exactly. He didn't have answers. I mean, you mentioned reading off of his note cards. Um, you know, I, I don't recall President Trump ever having a briefing binder. In fact, the Never. binder that was out there, yeah, the binder that was out there that he would be reading were his scripted remarks. And beyond that, there was nothing else in the binder. Maybe a news article he wanted to hold up, but there weren't points on various topics the way I had my briefing binder. It was literally, he's the leader of the free world. He's the president of the United States. It should be all right there. Uh, and it was for President Trump, but for President Biden. I've, I've never seen anything like it, having a briefing binder for a president of the United States. Real quick, Kaylee, can you give him a grade today? You know, I, I don't want to be too hard on him and grade him, but I will just say it was a poor performance. So uh, it, it was is not a good showing, but I always want the best for our country. And that means, of course, wanting the best for our president. Of course. Kaylee McEnany, great to see you. Welcome to the family.